What the heck's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How's everybody out there today? What's up, Nick DeBar, Van Boost? We got Jordan Kenny, Duan Baker, Marvin Martian. We got Cliff B, Griffiths, Larry, Brian Shryock, Cliff, uh, Cliff, Matthew Vanderwall, Austin Stidams. We also got Kevin Wilson, Philip Dean, Bradley Simmons, Miss Fireslan. Abraham Mendez, Mr. Firesland, Watchdog, Cody Lowry, and Joey Moreira. Says aloha, Frosty. Hello. Duan first in the chat, as usual. He beat everybody today. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Uh, brand new uh, tractor added to the mod hub today by EY Modding. He makes all the, the nice old school stuff. Uh, so nice Model A John Deere. Look at this bad boy. Beautiful. Nice classic right there just got added to the mod hub today so a nice perfect for a map like this with small fields i might add this to uh valley springs too love this tractor nice old john deere and he's got a mccormick in the works that will probably be added to the mod hub very soon so anything he ever adds i i immediately download it he makes nice quality mods uh, what's up, Mr. Van der Waltz's? We're getting a big snowstorm Wednesday and Thursday, and I have to work both days. Well, you never know. Might get canceled. Unless you're a snowplow driver. <laughs> what's up, Dakota Stevenson? How's it going there, brother? All right, so we're just going to finish cleaning up this field. This is the uh, barley field we harvested last week. Yeah, it's all done. Look at that. All finished already. Nice. What a nice tractor. Look at, that. Look at the detail. He always makes super detailed mods. Very nice. The little uh, in the driver's seat view here. Uh, what's up, Oregon? What's going on there? Oregon, did you see this uh, old John Deere they added to the mod hub today? EY modding. Yeah, first time, first time putting it to work. It's quite lovely. They lock it. We'll probably do some more cultivating here in a little bit. But uh, we got potatoes to harvest tonight, and it's gonna—it's not gonna be a, a quick job. It's, it's gonna take a while. So uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. First thing, let's throw a little bit of straw bedding down for the uh, cows. I did go ahead, and since we're almost poor, oh look at that—we already got straw bedding. Looks like they need food instead. We'll, get, we'll give them some grass bales. Just throw a couple in there to get started. But uh, yeah, we don't have much money. <laughs> We're down to 7,000 bucks. So I went out looking for some uh, locals that needed help and we found some. So we got a bunch of canola fields we're gonna be doing, uh, but I'm gonna hire my own workers to uh, do those for me. But that'll that'll give us some extra money pouring in throughout the stream because we just we just didn't have much money. It's just not there. I uh, love those old John Deere's. We still use 52 John Deere B on the farm to rake hay. Yeah, those are sweet, man. They sound good too. Sturdy, sturdy machines. All right, so they got enough uh, grass there. They got about 13,000 liters. Uh, they are producing slurry, and they're also producing manure look at that our little manure heap is starting to grow so we got free fertilizer in the works uh it's building up we got about 1300 liters and then uh slurry isn't uh building up as fast <laughs> we got a little covering up the drain there eventually that'll be filling up but it's slowly filling up there it's not much there we go go get to work let's go uh, work on some potatoes I should probably put a little water in the greenhouse for the tomatoes we got our first pallet of tomatoes here you know us uh, hello mr. frosty what's up Nick Boja Carlos Davies in the house what's up Carlos watchdog hope you're doing well Channing Hensley hello frosty my daughter's team won the tournament they were invited to holy cow you, they played a game already? You literally just said that Friday. Dang. Our, our school's like super slow. 
uh, your school's like on the ball. Like you literally just said they went to playoffs and they already played their first game. I guess they don't mess around at that school. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So they won their first game. So what's how many how many games are in the tournament? Congrats. Oh, what's up, Kevin Flores? Tyler Lowry, hello. Steve Luddington, hello, sir. Welcome to the show. Uh, this year's starting off bad. I miss my dad. I know, Jordan. I know, buddy. I know. Uh, what's up, uh, Bama? Kevin Levi says, what's up? Hope you had a great Tuesday. He's, he's all right. He's all right. Too shabby. All right, there's a little bit of water for the greenhouse. And we'll take a little peek here. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, they're in the green. As long as they're in the green, I'm happy. But yeah, we got a few contracts out. Take a look at the map. I'll show you what we're doing. Uh, we got a contract up here. We're helping out. Pretty decent sized fields. We're using their equipment, but it's just going to bring in a little extra cash. Uh, we're also going to knock out 126 and 108 tonight. But like I said, I'll hire workers to do all that. I just need to keep an eye on when they're filled and I need to unload the harvesters. But uh, here's our potato operation. So we got this old IMT 549 tractor. And then here's our, uh, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Rakovica, Rakovica. That's our tractor, and here's our sh our <laughs> potato harvester. That's that's the working width. That little thing right there. That's it. That's what picks up the potatoes, and then it throws them up the chute, puts them through all the uh, conveyors, and we do have a full load, so we're gonna get that thing uh, unloaded right off the bat. Pretty cool device. And I go. Dump them titers in there. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right. Fresh potatoes in the trailer. And then we'll uh, get this thing fired up and back to work in here. Super small, though. So lower, activate. And I do have crop destruction on, so I gotta kind of be careful that I don't, uh, you know, ruin the crop. We don't want to run over the crop before we harvest it, so it's going to be a little tricky doing this without uh, doing a lot of damage at the same time. <laughs> Uh, hi, Frosty. How are you in chat? Doing. Hope you're all having a good night. What's up, Daniel Ricard? How are you? What's up, Jacob Nangster? What mod is that tank thing? The tank thing. Uh, well, all oh, the the thing I filled up the water. That's LSFM. It's uh, it comes with the Hoff Bergman map that I've used before. He has his own tools, so you get like a wheel a wheelbarrow. Um, some buckets, things that you can use by hand, because it's a lot of manual stuff you pick up on his map. Yeah, I just put those mods onto this map so I could do some hands-on stuff. But yeah, it, it literally has, like, not even a one meter width working width. But just one trip down and back, uh, we got 12%, so it does kind of fill up quick. Which is nice. Yeah, my biggest thing is try not to uh, run over the crop. <laughs> there we go. Hey, there's a nice view. I can kind of see what I'm doing there. They're so bringing in some fresh potatoes. Polish potatoes. Uh, hey, Frosty and Chad, I just found out my uncle needs a total hip replacement, and he's getting it tomorrow, says Alan. Alan! Uh, I'll be I'll be thinking of you, buddy. Hopefully it's a successful surgery. Hopefully uh, everything goes smoothly. Uh, we played one yesterday, 36, and one today, 18 to zero. It was a six-team tournament, so we got to buy the first round. You beat a team, 18 to nothing. 
Why was that team in the playoffs if you beat them 18 to nothing? That ain't no fun. That, your team must be good. 30 to 6. Those are like blowouts. Yeah, that's not very competitive, huh? They must really be a good team. That's awesome. Sounds like she's going to end the season with a trophy. Sounds like she's got quite the uh, winning formula. Good stuff. Uh, does it swing out? Seems awfully close. To, I have it swung out as far as it'll go. Uh, it would probably help if I had a smaller tractor. That would probably help out a lot, actually. Maybe we'll swap tractors. I just got to make sure we have enough horsepower to... Yeah, let's see how much horsepower is required to pull potato technology. Oh, it only requires 25 horsepower. So that, yeah, that's perfect. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to switch this tractor out with that tractor right there. Because with a smaller tractor, less chance of damaging the crops. And I'll just think that would be a lot smarter. Yeah, we'll pull it with this little guy. You know what? This is pretty wide, too. <laughs> I need, like, a little skinny tractor. Come on, man. But I think these are narrow wheels. So it might actually... Yeah, so you can pull it in. And then that's as far as it goes out is not really that much but that'll be a little better this thing turns a lot tighter too it's gonna help out yeah get the lowered activated and start pulling up them tighters there we go a little better. Just a hair further away from the crop, but really not that much different from the other tractor. It's just a precision type of harvest. You just got to try not to run over the crop, that's all. Is that a Pink Floyd hat? This? No, nah, it's a Alice Chalmers hat, if you're talking about the one I'm wearing. Uh, I just noticed your hat. What's that pleasant view? Pleasant view in the chat. What's up, Mike? What's going on? Hope you're doing well. What's up, Charlie boy? Hello, Logan Hutzler. Floyd Statinger's in the house as well. Hello, Floyd. Ooh, first person view is kind of... kind of rough. Can't tell if I'm doing anything. Here, let's zoom in on this. There we go. That's a nice view. But yeah, you can see this This is going to take some time. But we don't have seasons on. So the crops are not going to wither. I don't have to do the whole field. Uh, we're just going to kind of work on this as we uh, take care of other chores tonight. We'll just keep coming back and do a few swipes here, a few swaps there. But I do want to feed the potatoes to the pigs. Because I did fast forward time a little bit. So figured, give them a little bit of root crop. That's part of the uh, the recipe for pigs to eat. We'll just wait till we get a full harvester here. And then I got to make sure we keep those contracts moving. Uh, have you looked at your DMs? I have not, Pleasant. I've, I've been uh, a carpooler today. I've been driving all day. Uh, I had to pick up all the kids, take them home from school, and my son had basketball practice, so I literally dropped off all the other kids, because we do like a carpool system, dropped them off and literally turned around, went all the way back to school to pick up my son from basketball, so it was a, a day of driving, so I haven't really been on the PC much, and I hung out with Miss Frosty all morning, uh, so I was up late getting all this set up last night. So yes, I have not checked out Discord, but I'll definitely uh, take a peek at it after the stream there, sir. Did you, did you send a present? <laughs> nice little surprise there. Well, thank you, buddy. Something tells me it has has the color orange and white in it. And I'll definitely check it out. This is going to take all stream. I ain't doing the whole thing right now. But it, it's, it's super relaxing. Look at that. 
It's actually, we've covered a lot of ground. Look at that. That's only one, not even a one meter swipe. I think it's 0 0.09 meters wide when I looked at the uh, harvester attachment. Yeah, it's uh, not the widest working machine, but it's cheap. It gets the job done, and it goes well with the, uh, the environment, the Polish setting. Yeah, we're just about full already. 96%. And that should be a full load right there. All right, we're just going to swing around there, actually, and load it over there. Love the way this thing dumps, too. He's not moving very fast, and uh, I got the hammer down. It's going about eight mile an hour. <laughs> All right, let's dump this uh, second full load, and then we'll go check on the contracts. Yeah. Very nice. What a cool little machine, huh? We'll go get this uh, taken over to the piggies real quick and get them fed. There we go. Full load. 4,000 liters. We are at 100%. Yeah, right. Look at those fresh potatoes. Oh, yes. So two full harvester, pull behind harvester loads is 4,000 liters, which exactly fills up this trailer. That's pretty nice. All right, see how the, see how the piggies are doing tonight. All right. And we're hung up on the wall there. A little tight squeeze. So we found out last week, if you end up using this map chat, that first dump spot is storage. You don't you don't really want to dump in there. You want to dump in this spot right here. You got to be able to drive through here when we're done. But you can hear him in there. Oh yeah, they're excited. They're like, you brought me some potatoes, daddy. That's right, I brought you some titers. Get them dumped in here. Uh, should have dumped. Tip side back. Is that not close enough? Is it not close enough? Being a pain in the butt here. Why is it not dumping? There it is. There it is. So they are full. Which means we'll... Uh, swing around and put the rest in the uh, storage here. Yeah, oh look, see? He's ready to pig out already. Yeah, oh yeah, he's like, potatoes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so we'll do a little spin around and get them fed with some, uh, or fill up the silo, I mean, so we have some extra stock. Nobody's coming the other way. Oh, baby. Pretty tight map. Go. My sharp turn in here. Ugh. Then we'll go out the way we originally came in, but this time we'll store the potatoes. I can get situated here. Uh, what's up, Caps Cattle? 
Uh, we got Tom Kelly in here, and if you ha thank you, Marvin Martian. I'm headed to bed early. Supposed to get a winter storm tomorrow. Talk to you later, sir. Pleasant view. Sleep well. Thank you for whatever you sent me. I know it's going to be awesome. I will check it out after the show. Um, sleep well. Good luck tomorrow on the farm. Uh, use a farm all, says Joe. Logan, we're in Poland, buddy. But I do have a farm all. Oh, no, I don't have a farm all. I have a John Deere. Yeah, we're in Poland. I don't think many of the, the Polish people use farm alls. I could be wrong. But I, I'm just thinking probably not. All right, what the heck, man? All right, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> Way too tight in here. So we'll just store these up in the other silo. No biggie. Storm right over here. And then we gotta go get on that contract. I believe they're probably finished by now. And it's not letting me dump in the silo either. So, yeah. We'll just figure out what to do with that later. <laughs> Can't figure out what to do with it. All right, we're going to spawn over at our first contract up here at field 145. And we're using the owner's equipment. And this field is done. We've got two other fields we're going to knock out. They got a lot much nicer equipment than we have. What's up, David Turville? Hello, Tony Martig, Ice Dragon in the house. Uh, we got uh, da -da 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 -da, Ronnie Gold. What's going on, Ronnie? And need some poke music, however you spell it. Polka. You almost had it. You just had to add an A. Polka. Polka. Yeah, the Polka channel only has like nine songs and it goes through them in like five minutes. So. All right, we got to figure out where they want this delivered. So I did all canola contracts. That way I'll get more bang for the buck for the other two by using the equipment from the first one. So get a little nice chunk of money because we're... Uh, we're not looking too good financially. All right, so we're gonna load up the header and head on over to the next field. About. So there are some decent sized fields on this map. We just own very tiny ones over on our side of town. It, it'll be a while before we have the money to buy one of these big boys. A little out of the price range. All right. Let's go hop in here. Got the nice Volvo from the uh, Platinum expansion. Nice looking tractor. Supposed to get two to four inches of snow starting tonight and to tomorrow, says Tony. Bring all the snow to Wisconsin. I can I get to go snowmobiling. No. Oh. I have never been snowmobiling. Sounds fun though, but I've never done that. I, I feel like it would be quite lovely. Right, we're gonna have that guy just follow us to the next field. So we can get the harvester set up. All right, so we'll go we'll go to field 126 next. He should be back there following us. He'll catch up. To field 126. Yeah, this gives you an idea what what type of fields are on this map. There's tons of fields to purchase eventually. That's just probably going to take forever for us to get to that point. That's that's all. Let's head down here. Pretty much just uh, following the dirt road. 
trying to get to the next one. What's up, Austin Wall? Uh, we got Kyle Guthrie is back in the house. It's hello, Frosty in chat. Hello, sir. Supposed to get eight inches, David. Winter Wonderland. It was beautiful in South Carolina. Not to rub it in. It was, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Very nice. There, he's back there following us. Yeah, it was about s almost 60 degrees, sunny, breezy, beautiful. Went on a nice, uh, what about five miles in today, walking and playing basketball. So definitely got to be outside a lot today. It's very nice out. Uh, Steve AJ coming in with the $10 super chat. It says, hey, Frosty. Enjoying watching the live streams. I have autism and it helps me relax. Well, I'm glad I can help you relax there, sir. And uh, thank you very much for the support to the channel. Man, this is a big old map. A lot bigger than it looks. Um, trying to figure out the best way to get to where I'm trying to get to. It's that field right across there. Um, right, left, right. I don't know. I'll try going this way. Don't want him to fall into the creek. Oh, this isn't going to be good for that guy. Because he's going to follow my path. Ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, let's see if he falls into the river. Alright, he pulled it off. Nice, nice. All right, I gotta figure out how to get to that field, dang it. Is that a little grass strip in between? No. No. Just a bunch of uh, fields right on each other. It's snowing there yet. Hi, Frosty, how's Tuesday going? Taco Tuesday. Oh, ooh, do you have some tacos? Uh, my son and I had Wendy's on the way home from uh, basketball practice, but Miss Frosty made salmon, salmon, rice, and something. I don't know. I don't know what all she made. They, my wife and daughter ate dinner, and then my son and I we ate dinner on the way home. Got just got some Wendy's. I have no idea where I'm at right now. Trying to follow the, the roads. All right, I think this canola field coming up is the one on the right side here. That was a nice little hike trying to get here. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that looks like it right there. Beautiful. So we'll just set up shop over in this field. It unfolded and set up. And we'll also have to go deliver the grain in the trailer over there because it's full. First, we'll do a headland so uh, the hired worker has room to turn around. There we go. A nice, uh, nice little outline of the field. One lap. Be ready to rock and roll. I'm doing some seeding on the Green Valley. Ooh. The Green Valley. Green Valley or Green River? Did you mean to say Green River? Or are you on? I've never heard of Green Valley. I know Green River's on the mod hub. Is that what you meant? Did you mean Green River? What is your go-to at Wendy's Frost? I got the Baconator. The double Baconator with French fries and a chocolate uh, Frosty. And my son got a 10-piece Nuggets with French fries and a chocolate Frosty. Twenty-one dollars! My goodness! Chase! No, 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 no! That's bad. 
and comes back. It's too much money. It's a little silly if you ask me. Little overprice. It's all right, Dan Patterson. We're here almost every day. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Uh, Green Valley is a map by DJ Modding. Green Valley? What the heck is Green Valley? I don't know what that is. Huh. Green Valley. Well, I'll be darned. So it's a it's a DJ modding map. It must it's probably a good one then if it's made by uh, DJ. He makes some pretty good maps. Let me check. No, you're right, Stephen. You're right. I, I didn't know. That's I didn't even know. <laughs> Green Valley, Nebraska is I believe the name. If you search, oh, okay, yeah. Most of his maps are, uh, yeah, the uh, western states. And, well, I guess he does some Wisconsin. And... Interesting. Very nice. All right, trust me, we'll get back to our poopy equipment back at our farm. I'm just getting a uh, perimeter cut done so we can hire a worker. We're going to go deliver that canola in the trailer, bring it back here, and then we'll get back to uh, working on our own farm. I just got uh, a couple contracts out tonight to make a little extra money. That's out. Oh, that guy's following us. I forgot to deactivate him. Got to deactivate them. All right, you're gonna have to wait, sir. I mean, we're literally sitting here. Are you really gonna try to go through my tractor? It's kind of rude. What is happening right now? This guy's literally not, what, what is he doing? Usually the AI stops. It doesn't just drive into you. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alrighty then. That was different. I <laughs> uh, did tier three and it's not showing up, says Kyle. Ah, you don't even have a badge next to your name. So something got messed up. Something must have got messed up, Kyle. Yeah, because I'm not even seeing a name or uh, a badge at all. What is going on here? That's why the uh, hired or the uh, follow me driver ran over the the header trailer, drug it into the field. So the other hired worker just ran it all over. Interesting. See if he can uh, take care of that now. There you go. All right, we're gonna go sell this stuff for the contract. Figure out where it goes. Right, we need to deliver to. Oh, this map's good size. Whew. Doesn't look that big, but it is. Um. Hmm. Where the heck do they want me to deliver it to? see any uh, place to take it. Uh, 108-126. You need to deliver to the point of selling grain zakaze. Okay. Grain zakaze. Oh, right here. Alright, so we're going to tag that. We're gonna pull out here and try to try to get over there somehow. That's that's the goal anyway. <laughs> We're gonna try to get over there. Yes, I did, Suzette. Yes, I did. Uh, Caps, what did you do today? Says, oh, I bought a new gun, number seventy-two to the total I have in the house. Wow, that's quite a few. That is quite a few. <laughs> Jeez. What's up, Jasmine? How's Jasmine doing this evening? So the map 
feels small when you're at the home farm with all that little equipment, but once you get out here and explore, it's it's pretty good size, man. Definitely a lot to uh, see and do. Tons and tons of fields on this map. I think there's over 150 fields on this entire layout. We need to figure out how to get over there without driving through crops. This is a harvested field, so we're good. Yeah, it's a nice field. <clears throat> I'm good and extremely exhausted. Are you? We'll sit back and relax. Uh, single player tonight, I think. Yes, single player. Yep. Can do some mining on console, that's why I'm playing it. Says Steven. You can do some mining on console, that's why I'm playing it. What do you, what are you playing, Steven? Oh, Green Valley. Does Green Valley have some mining on it, huh? Nice. Yeah, I've not uh, checked that one out yet. I have to add it to my list of a hundred maps I play on. <laughs> All right, I see where we got to go. It's actually not that far away. But that'll complete the first contract. But we won't collect money till we get all three contracts done. Otherwise, I'll lose all the equipment I'm using or borrowing. Yeah, right. See ya. Yeah. Looks like I need to deliver over here. So this ought to be interesting with uh, this type of trailer. It's either gonna glitch out on the ceiling or maybe it won't give us any trouble. Got about 22,000 liters of canola in here. Ooh, that barely clears it. No collision with the ceiling. Oh, wow. Talk about just barely hitting the top. Look at that. <laughs> just fits in there. then take it oh I just seen a collectible we need all the money we can get yes thank you very much a thousand dollars I will take it any collectibles we find we are grabbing them extra money in the pocket right so this these these animals are purchasable you just gotta buy the land so if you wanted to do some uh, Angus cow breeding, you could buy those stalls. There's also more chickens down here, but it would require purchasing the land down here. So yeah. What up Adam Small, Dustin Johnson, hello. Uh, Outlaw says, if you like the mining side of FS22, Elk Mountain is a good map. I'm, I am I can't really stand the mining. I'm not a big fan of it. But I, I know a lot of people in the chat like it. But yeah, you're right. Elk Mountain has a huge mining area. But yeah, I, I kind of got burned out on it. I don't like Terra Farm. I, I can't stand that. Like on FS19, I loved how, like... Uh, FS Miner and uh, the other dude made the big mining map. And it, you just you know, loaded up the game, got the mods you like to use, like machinery, and scooped up whatever was on that map. I can't stand Terra Farm. Ugh, I just I don't like it. Um, what's up, Jessica? How's Jessica doing today? Uh, Revel. What's going on, Revel? Welcome to the show. Just doing a little bit of contracting. But we're just about to head over back to the farm once we uh, get this unloaded. 
Get the harvester emptied one more time so it can keep running. I just seen TNT modding it coming back and is going to bring is going to be bringing Bucks County too. So, whew, hired workers struggling a little bit. <laughs> Missing patches. So I'm going to dismiss him just for a second so we can clean up the things he missed. And then we'll put him back to work. So my son was supposed to have a basketball game today and uh, it got canceled. I guess the away team we were supposed to be going to play didn't have, um, couldn't get officials to officiate the game. So unfortunately, game got canceled. So they had, they had practice instead. So he was a little bummed out about it, but I'm like, it happens. That's part of sports. Tornado hit by Houston tonight, 0.34 in Mesa this morning. Really? Tornado. Not good. It's that time of year, huh? all the weird, all the weird weather's starting up. I'm ready for spring down here in Carolina. I picked a bunch of weeds today. My front yard, like the grass is not growing, but there's all these nasty looking weeds that are growing. So I was out there just to picking away today. It's quite messy. All right, we're gonna clean this corner and just run down to the other end and grab one more swipe along there. Otherwise, the, the hired worker just keeps missing all these patches. So we're just trying to clean it up a little bit. So it'll be nice and neat. There we go. A whole yard is weeds right now. Yeah, I got, they're those nasty I mean, they're easy to pick. They just look ugly. They make the whole yard look trashy. So I finally took the time to pick them all today. Get it looking nice again. Right. Hopefully, our hired worker can finish this without missing any more patches. I mean, pretty much set him up for success. All he's got to do is go straight. We'll leave, we'll leave him to it. And we will get back to the farm and work on some other chores we got to get done. So we live way over here, way down yonder. Every time I walk by the cows, I'm just going to go grab at least one or two bales of grass to feed them. Because we are gonna run out of grass bales. We'll just throw a couple more in there. That's all we have to feed them right now, because we're poor farmers. We got eight grand on us. <laughs> so we're just giving them the bare minimum. Also need to do a little straw bedding for the uh, pigs. We'll grab the new uh, John Deere, the new but old John Deere. Look up to our little trailer over here and throw some straw bales in there. Such a nice tractor. So lovely. Yeah, we'll 
throw about, you know, throw a few in here. These are all bales we made on Friday? We were on this map Friday, right, chat? Something like that. Come on, pick it up. get too carried away. Just want to have enough to uh, keep the pigs going. Didn't mean to do that. Come on, you punk. Come on! leave the door open. <laughs> All right, let's go. Jeez. Glitching out on us. All right, let's go feed them. Not feed them. Straw bedding for the pigs. Frosty, that little trailer is pretty sweet. Only PC, I'm guessing. Uh, I think it's actually right off the mod hub, buddy. Yep. I think it's off the mod hub, so you might get lucky and find it. That is... Let's see. Trailers. Yeah, it's it's definitely on the mod hub. Lizard. Old car trailer lizard. Yep, you'll see it out there. You'll see it on the old mod hub. Deep Creek not far from Frosty. What's he on vacation or something? Because he ain't nowhere near me. <laughs> uh, everyone's welcome to join my Twitch. Ah, uh, we don't do that here, Jasmine. Yeah, we don't self-promote. Sorry. If a moderator can delete that, please. Yeah, we don't do the whole self-promotion thing. It doesn't work anyway, just so you know. Self-promotion's the worst way to try to grow a channel. All right, let's get this door open and throw some bales in there. Doing that right? Or do I? Oh, straw bedding's outside the door. Oh, you put it here. That's dumb. I want to put it. I, want, I don't want to put it there. I want to put it inside. Oh, well, I'll take it. That is full on straw. We're going to throw some of these in. To shelter. And eh, we'll just dump them over here. There we go. Oh, man. Ooh, it even has a little backlight on the back of the tractor. How lovely. Okay, awesome. I'm definitely going to have to get it. Yep, it's on there. Brian Santor with the four-month anniversary says, Oh, there, Big Frosty. How are you tonight? Doing all right. We're back here in Poland. We're back here in Poland. Right. Just put these in here for next time. Not, a, not much, but it might be enough to top them off a month from now, you know? There you go. Beautiful. I gotta figure out what to do with those potatoes. We might end up live loading, live unloading the potatoes in here. That's gonna be hard to do with that one trailer. Because it has a wiggle wagon style. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the heck we're doing with the potatoes right now. Maybe we'll just sell them. There 
go. How about the new John Deere? You like it, chat? EY modding. Just released today on the mod hub. Nice old school track. Man, it wears and tears super fast. I literally have 20 minutes on this thing. And it, the paint job's deteriorating. The heck, man? That's a little uh, extreme. So he might have messed up on something there. Because that's not normal. <laughs> literally, I've only used it for 20 minutes. And the paint job's almost uh, torn off. That's okay. That's okay. Still looks good. Still looks good. All right. So cows. Let's throw a couple more bales in for the cows. Eventually, I just want this trailer to be empty tonight. So it's ready for the next uh, baling session. Oh. A nice map for my two farm on. This one? Yeah, it's Palo Palawa. It's on the mod hub. P-O-L-O-W-A. What trailer works with the harvester that you have for this map? What trailer? Um, I've been using this one. Is that what you mean? Like when I use that harvester, f I, I usually just pull this one up to it. Which reminds me, we got soybean to harvest. Good thinking, Mike. We gotta fire up the old Vistula. The Vistula. Which I found out from you guys that this is a Polish style harvester. We get it fired up and get to work. What's up, Stevenson? Stevenson, how's the internet? How's, the, well, not the internet. How's the power in your neighborhood? Is it all right? Hopefully they got that all squared away. Wait a minute, is my volume still jacked up? Let me see something real quick. What in the world? <clears throat> yep, I had a feeling. I was wondering why it was so darn quiet. I can hear it again. Anytime you can't hear my equipment chat, that's because I was working on my survival video. Because that darn tractor I use on there is stinking loud, so I gotta crank the volume down in the game. And then I forget to put it back to normal for the next stream, so. If it ever sounds like you can't hear anything, that that's why. We can't ignore the beautiful sound of this Vistula. All right, we're ready to do some soybean harvest. We got our little spotlight on. Activated. Lowered. Bada bing, bada boom, bada. Gonna bring some soybean in. Thing. Not too shabby. Yeah, maybe we don't need lights on quite yet, huh? Still pretty sunny out. Love this harvester. Eventually got reconnected at 10 a.m. this morning. Can you put the name of this map in chat on the screen? I'm trying to find it. P O L O W A, Palawa. It's actually the name of the title. So if you just scroll up on the stream, you'll see the title of tonight's show Palawa. P O L O W A. Missouri Bobby. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Love it. Hard working machine. Spotlight on this old rig is just top notch. Way to go, modder. On which one? What are you talking about? The uh, harvester? Yeah, the light is cool. If that's what you're talking about. 
And it's got the uh, brake lights, which makes your uh, dust kind of look red. Kind of cool. Yeah, pretty sweet. gonna try to do a headland. <laughs> it's not gonna be a very big one, but whatever helps. We can get a hired worker going at some point. Eh, if we gotta do it the whole thing ourselves, we will. This is definitely a relaxing series. We're not about hurrying at all. When are we about hurrying on my channel, right? We're usually always chilling out. <laughs> if you're here to be in a hurry, you're at the wrong place, right, chap? This is the place to let it all relax. And it shouldn't fill up, like, super fast. Because it's soybean. Yeah, we're only at 41%. We'll be able to make it all the way to the other end. They did a great job, Corey. The Harvester. Yeah, the Vistula. That's been on the Mod Hub for a long time. This is a nice little Harvester. I might end up buying this one for the Survival Series. Because it's super affordable. It's like 12000 bucks, Which is pretty darn cheap for a Harvester. Yep, get you prepared for bed. Spent all day playing this game. Wife was so mad we didn't go anywhere on my day off, says Jason. Uh-oh. So you had a good day, but oh, at the same time, you're in the doghouse. So, <laughs> sorry to hear that. What's up, Ian Oppenheim? Says I practice all my patience vicariously through fasting. How's Mr. Oppenheim? And it's the number one place to chill out. That's right. That's right. Just love this machine. Love all the old gauges. It's a big old... I mean, it's a big old piece of junk. But that's why I like it. Like it's just got that old vintage feeling to it. I mean, look at this thing. That is not... A beautiful piece of equipment, but it is beautiful in its own way. You know what I mean? It's just—it's very nice. Let's try not to damage the neighbor's crops. If we don't own it, it doesn't damage it, so it's always a plus. All right, we should be good to hire a uh, worker. And the only reason I'm gonna hire a worker is because we got a lot of other stuff we gotta keep up on too. Let's get him moving here. It's like the widest this is gonna go is right about here. Let that worker do his thing. We need to figure out what to do with these stinking potatoes. Hmm. What to do with the potatoes? Let's see what the prices are for potatoes. Uh, potato, potato, potato. It's saying we don't have any. So we'll have to look over here. Potatoes. Uh, selling point root uh, root plants. Zachre. Uh, it's actually price isn't too bad. It's just a little under its max price. So root plants. Where the heck is See, I think everything pretty much gets sold at this store down here. Point of selling grain, point of selling root plants. Okay, so that does go down there. So that's where we'll end up selling these. 
Uh, Kevin Flores says it's snowing in Texas, Frosty. Oh, my goodness. That's not normal, huh? Snowing in Texas. Everything's big in Texas. Is the snow big, too? You got big snowflakes? I don't know if that's good or not, huh? Thank you, Mr. Flores. Do you even own a uh, snow shovel living out there, huh, in Texas? I gotta figure out where these darn roads lead. This is our first night leaving our property, like heading out. So all these roads are just a big mess. Oh, there's our contract work way over there. All right, it's not bad. Cool. And we'll uh, take a little pit stop over here to get our contract worker unloaded. Looks like his harvester's full. We got multiple things done here. Sell some potatoes and work on the contract. We got about 14-ish yesterday here in New Hampshire and another six to eight inches tonight. Yuck! That is disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, that's no fun. That is no fun. All right, this field is done. Contract completed. Just got to get him unloaded and sent over to the next place. Which is not too far from here. There we go. Yeah, that's one, one good way to make some money. If we got any, like, uh, rookie rookie farmers in the chat that play farm sim maybe you're new to farm sim if you're looking to make some easy money uh do contracts in the game and you can usually do up to three contracts this is without mods you can do up to three contracts and like tonight i took three canola contracts i only borrowed items from one of the owners I can use that owner's equipment to do the other two contracts. So you get paid more on the other two because they're thinking you're using your own equipment. And it's not cheating. That's just how it is. So, yeah, that's a good way to make a little extra cash. Right, let's... This guy unloaded. Then we're going to have a little convoy. We're going to have the Volvo follow my tractor. So we can uh, get two deliveries done at once. What's up, Brandon Eichmeier? Hello. Uh, I was going to ask you about... There you go, Brian. Super uh, easy way to make some cash. out of the way real quick. Trying to get this guy to follow this guy. Come on. Follower side. Let's cancel that. There we go. All right, so he's going to follow me back there. Supposed to be. All right. I must have messed it up. So we'll go uh, do it ourselves. Oh, well. I see not following me, dang it. It's supposed to be following me. I must have accidentally deactivated it. What's up, Mouse? How's it going there, brother? Hello, Frosty. Hope all is well. I'm doing all right, Brandon. I'm doing quite splendid. Thank you for asking, I said. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
All right, so control F. All right, so he should start following. Follow distance, right control. I'd like him to follow a little closer actually. We'll follow 10. He's, he's gonna be right on my tail. There we go. Maybe not right on the tail, but that's much better. I like that. All right, so he's following us to the, uh, the cell point. <sighs> oh yeah, he's doing a great job. Look at him back there. What a good worker, you know? Easy does it. Sounds like everyone's getting snow this season. Everybody but me, Tony. Everybody but me. I got I got the nice weather down here. I'll pass on the snow. The cold is enough. Yeah, my wife went for a jog this morning. I was sleeping still. And uh, when I woke up, she's like, yeah, it was like a 30-degree run this morning. I was like, yuck. When I woke up, it was already like 50. It already warmed up. This beast. Polish-style tractor right there. I'm in uh, a different way this time. All right, special delivery. We've got 2,944 liters of potatoes. So root crops look like they dumped right here because that looks like a load of potatoes right there. And there goes our money up on the top right. We made about 1577 bucks plus a $76 bonus. And we're gonna stop right about here. This guy got stuck a little bit. The wheel unstuck him. All right, this is part of the contract. Beautiful. He's ready to follow again. And then we gotta go to one more field which is field 108, which is literally right across the street. Nice. I can see it way out in the distance. So we're gonna go uh, take care of that contract next. That'll be the final contract. It'll just be nice to <clears throat> have a little extra cash in the, in the wallet. All these little roads, dirt paths, very nice. What's up, Zachary Belinsky? How are ya? Cornell777, what's going on, man? Did I just call you 777? 77, yeah, three sevens, I got it right. Uh, we got a snowstorm up to six inches here in Michigan starting in the morning. Must be from the evaporation of the Cowboys fans cries, since you know the Cowboys are America's team. <laughs> oh boy. You guys are funny with the whole football thing, aren't you? All right, what's the best way to get to 108? 108 is to my left. 
trying not to drive in everybody's, like, stuff. Kind of hard not to, you know? Like, we're going to have to. Got to get over to 108. Just going to drive through the creek. It's over here. I don't own these fields, so we're not damaging them at all. Just trying to get over to it. Woo, that's a big field, too. Fine. This is definitely a good size field. Park in the creek. There you go. Got to find a harvester. Bring that bad boy back. What's up, Kale? B busy with work. Nothing wrong with that. What's up, Lucas Smith? How you doing this evening? Our tractor's all set up over there. Taking the harvester through the creek. There's not much water in there. It's just a little bumpy, that's all. See? My guy's fine. Just bouncing around, having a good time. <laughs> Got nice suspension. set up over here. <laughs> this field's going to be interesting. Because it is nowhere near the shape of the square. It's kind of rounded and Got some, you know, different. So, let's see how this goes. So we'll do one big lap around. It's going to take a minute because this is a pretty good sized field, as you can see. But uh, once we get one lap done, hired worker should be okay. I found out on this map that the uh, course plays doesn't work too good because all these fields are so close together, it just thinks all the fields are one big field. So unfortunately, you do have to farm your own fields on this one, which I'm not planning on buying any of these big boys. Uh, once we do this contract, I'll probably be done with contracts for quite some time and we'll stick to just farming on our own property. out in the cab here. Got flood water. How is Poland treating you tonight? It's okay. Some of these fields are good size though. I decided to do some contracts because I didn't get enough contracts last night. Now I just, we need a little extra money in the account. It's uh, not looking too hot. So figured do a few uh, canola fields. See, like right now, it thinks the field's done. That's not true. The field's right there. Hang on. 
Yeah, we'll have to do this ourselves. Dang it! That's not good. Not good at all. Tappy tappy. Tappy tappy. Nothing like talking a half a million dollar piece of equipment mud and mud. Uh, yeah. We were getting a little rough there, huh? We were, we were checking out the suspension, making sure it was good. Gotta make that boola. That's right, Flood. But uh, who enjoyed the uh, multiplayer farming last night? We were on uh, Eastern North Carolina last night with the uh, Tier 3 members. Getting some uh, contracts done on there as well. So I take it we got the Fent Harvester. If I had to guess, it's already been purchased, right? I think you have to be a good friend with neighbors. You do. The map, it, it, it's pretty, it's, I'll show you. Here's, here's the map chat, Palawa. So we're on this little field right here, which looks pretty decent size. Some of them are, look at that, that's big. But uh, if, if you zoom in, wee all the way down here this is where i live and these are our fields we own we own one two three four about five fields and they're very small very small indeed Did, and I'm on the map now, says Lucas. You're on this map? Nice. Always enjoy every stream you do, says Frog. Well, thanks, Keith. Thank you. Do you have course play installed on this map? I do. You could create your own field guide for it if you do. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. Like I said, this is just uh, some contracts we're doing tonight just to make a little extra cash. And that'll probably be it for uh, these big fields. Then I'll just go back to hanging out on my my property with my small equipment. What's up, Chad Mendale? They were all working hard. I watched the re re replay just before you come live this afternoon. Last night, yeah. Yeah, we were getting her done. We got the new, uh, dang it, the new case harvester last night. And probably saved up and got the new vent as well. It's piped out. And we're going to hire a worker. They might jack the whole field up. That's all right. As long as they do the majority of it. And we'll come back and check on them later once their uh, tank's full. We'll be able to collect all three contracts. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be a straight line. There we go. They'll be busy for a while. We'll take our tractor back to the house. Oh, gotta disable him. There we go. Off we go. The R farm's way down yonder over there somewhere. Yeah, way out there somewhere. This path should take us back home, I hope. <laughs> Everything looks so small from way out here. Out of Frost, 16 hour workday in the bank, and now I get to relax and watch some farming. What's up, Blue Dragon? Welcome to the show. Natron in the house. What's up, Natron? Hope you're doing all right. It was great. Love watching you guys. Hopping to hoping to join you guys next month, says Steve. Nice. Be a pleasure to have you, buddy. I don't need those beacons on anymore. All right. Where the heck is my house at? Where'd my darn farm go? Because we need to get uh, 
our harvester unloaded. We can uh, figure out how to get back. Seriously, I don't, I don't know. The heck's my farm? Where am I? Oh, we're almost back, sorta. Yep, we're coming into town. This map's big. My goodness, it did not seem that big, but it is a big map. There are a lot of fields on here. Oh, I've been drinking, Chad. I've been drinking water. Lots of water. I'm doing good, Natron. Thank you for asking, sir. All right, main road's up here. The never-ending road. This little tractor's starting to grow on me. I like it. My favorite color, too. The house is right where I left it. Kentucky vs. Vanderbilt. Oh, is there a good, good game on right now? Alrighty. So we live up here on the right a little ways. Yep, there's where the pigs are. And there's my mansion. Look at the house that comes with this map. That's the house. That is fancy. I got like a little wraparound driveway and everything. Oh, do that. That's a fancy brick house, Polish style. Yeah. Oh, I see our little harvester. We still got more uh, potatoes to deal with. Damage the crops. Do the sauce sales. Fifteen hundred liters of soybean. Frosty, you still eating the chicken and biscuits these days? Nope, haven't had a chicken and biscuit cracker in who knows how long. I did away with them. Thank you, Jake Lindsay. What's going on, Jake? That emperor guy was working pretty hard last night. Yeah. Questionable. Questionable. Debatable. Very debatable. back where he was. There we go. Lovely. That is sweet. Can't get enough of that harvester, man. That is nice. Love it. You got broccoli and cheese soup. I had Wendy's. college basketball. I, I love college basketball. I don't watch it anymore, but I used to love watching it. 450k on the Carolina map. Nice. That's nice. Now I gotta go in there and spend money later. <laughs> I think I only lost connection once last night. Good night for me. That is a good night for you. That is pretty good. Don't see shabby. All right, so we're going to let him keep working with the Vistula. And we're going to check on this guy who's, as I figured, not doing a very good job. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to do. 
This is what our hired worker just did. <laughs> he went right between the field and just kind of, he's like, whatever. He's like, I hate my job. But he just made a big old mess. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. So, looks like we're gonna have to do a little of this ourselves. <laughs> Which is fine. Once this darn contract's done, done, it's done. Like, we don't have to worry about it anymore. No more contracts. Bringing in that canola. What's up, Matt Lane? Did you hire Fire Slane? I mean, it looks similar to his harvesting jobs. Yes. Uh, nope. Not really. I, I can't stand the game anymore, buddy. Uh, Buck Clark. Buck, were you able to uh, get things working? or How's everything looking? Buck's been having some... Uh, farm sim issues unfortunately tried to give him some tips today hopefully they worked or maybe he hasn't got to try it yet you can't rebel you can't from last night that was me I kept running into stuff last night. Yeah, I was having a hard time driving on the Carolina map. <laughs> There's not as much things to run into on this map. It's much more open and, you know. Horrible lag. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. Not good though. I tried. What's up, Richard Hollenbeck? Hello. I, I just, I, I've already talked about that. Yeah, I just don't have any desire to play anything else right now. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned that numerous times. Could go for your grandma's bits of biscuits and gravy right about now. Actually, Miss Frosty last night made uh, biscuits and gravy. Well, she tore up the chicken and shredded chicken, put it in the gravy pot. Actually, I helped. I I, uh, I, I stirred. I stirred the gravy to keep it from getting you know messed up. So yeah, that was fun. It was good. Very delicious. So it was like shredded chicken gravy over biscuits with a uh, mashed sweet potato with graham sugar. It's good. I'm sitting at 90% here. Uh, our, our guy back at the farm is at 80%, so he's just about full. So once he's full, we'll switch back, get him unloaded. And then we'll get back over here to finish this. That blackberry was all oh, I know. You talk, I, I, ginger ale? I still drink ginger ale. Yes. Yep. We get the Costco, the uh, variety pack. Yeah, I, I don't think I can give up on the, uh, the ginger ale. Can't live without that. I sent an email to Giants, no problems with any other game. Hmm. You've probably already done it. You've reinstalled the game, like deleted it, reinstalled. Check the integrity of the files through Steam. You can go to the you know, right click on Farm Sim on Steam in your library, right click on it, and 
uh, properties, and then you'll see something that says verify integrity of the files. Click on that and it like scans and repairs anything messed up with your game. That's, I'm sure you did it already though. And maybe you didn't. I recommend it. Get him unpiped. Did I just say unpiped? Is that possible to be unpiped? <laughs> yeah, ginger ale. The blackberry ginger ale is, is quite delicious. I like them all. I've been getting a little into reds because it's more affordable. <laughs> I'm all about what's cheap, so Costco, you can get like these big packs of reds. Uh, I think it's called reds. Reds ginger ale or something. I forget the name of it. But uh, they got some different flavors as well. I don't know if it said my harvester filled up or not over at the farm. I feel like it probably did. GPU is 100% all the time. Your GPU is at a hundred percent all the time. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's uh, going on with it. Yeah, something, something, something doesn't seem right. And it's just that it's just farm sim giving you troubles. That's the weird part. I don't know. I love cranberry. Yeah, I like the holiday ones, John. Cranberry holiday. Maybe nice. The reason, if anybody wonders why anytime you got sharp point ends on a field and your hired worker stops, it's because he doesn't recognize the field anymore. He doesn't recognize what needs harvested. So what you need to do is square it off a little bit. Get rid of the, the sharp ends. And then he'll be able to uh, identify the situation. You know what I'm saying? And at least you'll get a few more laps out of your uh, harvester when you hire someone. All right. So now at least we're going to get one, two, three, maybe four or five swipes out of it. Hired worker. Come on, baby, just go straight. Ugh. Whatever. AI in this game is trash. <laughs> it's so bad. I uh, never said I was going to bed unpiped. Not supplied or fitted with pipes. Yes! That's what I was thinking. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hop back into our harvester. Oh, he's got the pipe out this time. And he's towards the outside of the crop, which is nice. It's got to pull up there and get it. Hello, Elizabeth. There we go. Hi there, Frosty and Chatters. How are you all tonight? I am do splendid. I hope that you will be pleased to hear that my eyes have just about cleared up now so I can see all the streams again. That is good. I'm glad to hear that. So it's not uh, hurting anymore, not giving you any headaches. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so he's at 75%. He'll probably fill this whole trailer up. We're just going to kind of leave that there. Let him keep working. This field's looking good. Just needs a little lime put on it afterwards. Uh, nitrogen's perfect. Even after being harvested. Interesting. Let's pick up a few more titers. It's more titers picked up. Ooh, 
Wrong side. Lowered, activated. And potato time. There we go. It might take... <laughs> I don't know if we'll get this field done tonight, but we'll keep we'll keep uh, working on it here and there, trying to get it done. A little bit out of time, right? Up, dear Hunter Brett. I don't know if we'll be planting any potatoes anytime soon. Not with this harvester. It's like a once in once in a while type of chore. Trying to keep a straight line there. Working. Definitely working. It feels so dark. It's only a uh, quarter after one in the afternoon in the game, but it, it's the month of October, so it's starting to lose the bright weather. Loving that old blue potato harvester and that thing's sweet. Look at the detail on it too. So it's coming up the chute, and then it moves over to the right, goes up into the dump, and then the whole dump flips over into a trailer when you unload. That's the best part is unloading it. Got about 38% here. Yeah. can't be in a hurry on this this type of machinery it's gotta take it easy can't be like uh, steerman and trying to get to the finish line because he ain't getting there anytime soon in this thing <laughs> uh, we have some nasty weather coming in very soon hoping it'll just pass on through and just be wind and rain yeah lots of people mentioning uh, the snow some nasty weather coming around. Not 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 down here though. It's nice. Carolinas looking pretty good the rest of the week. Uh, tomorrow is like 100% rain, but it's not going to be like super cold or anything. Yeah, I don't mind rain. Washes away all the uh, crud. <laughs> What's up, Paul? We're not in Ohio tonight, sir. We're in Poland again. Been enjoying this map. All right, contract field is 80% completed. Nice. This is not a contract. I'm talking about another con. If you're just tuning in, this is definitely not a contract. This is our field. <laughs> our little potato field. It's, it's fun doing these little jobs with different machinery, you know? It's the beauty of farm sim. We can uh, mess around with different mods and try different stuff. Gorgeous. Crazy how this, look at this. It's just one little roller here that's 
uprooting each, I mean, we're talking not even a meter wide. It's uprooting the, cart, the potato out of the ground. And then it rips off the, uh, that's what all this stuff is, the discharge, the, the, the leaves and all that crap. It discharges that, spits that out back here, and then shoves the potatoes up into the bin to uh, be unloaded. Very interesting. We are going to take a time out on the potatoes. We can get back to that maybe in a little bit. He's still working. Let's switch back to the contract. Ooh, he's doing a good job over there. He almost got the whole field done. Nice. Tony Mortic! This is time to be a jackwacker. Thanks for all you do, Frosty. You're awesome, buddy. That's Tony Mortic coming in with the $50 super chat. Thank you, Tony. Thank you so much, buddy. Not just for today, but all the uh, super chats you send on a regular basis. Thank you, buddy. Always supporting the channel. It's Tony Maltic, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, buddy. My area is supposed to get the worst of it in Michigan, says William Z. Stratton. How's Mr. Z. Stratton doing tonight? I know what's going to happen. We're not going to be able to fit all the crop in here. I'm going to dismiss the worker, and we're going to knock some of this out ourselves here. Yeah, we're going to have to make two trips, unfortunately, to uh, sell this stuff or finish the contract doing pretty good William good 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 uh, nasty weather coming I here says Paul yeah everybody's been talking about it except where I'm at I'm good washes away the stink of modern society exactly <laughs> you are you couldn't be any more correct there Ian would not be good if it did that though like every time it rained it just washed away everybody's nasty comments negativity it's all the trashy stuff in the world. Every time it rained, wouldn't it be nice if it just got rid of everything that sucks? It'd be refreshing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Frosty, what do you need to get in the reading on those field and... Been having a problem on Silver Run. Frosty, what do you need to... I'm sorry, Chris. I don't. I can't. I can't decipher what you just typed. I. Uh, you gotta check your typing before you hit send. Woo! That's a that's a hot mess right there, boy. I'll tell you what. I don't know what the heck you just said. You need to take that whole thing, put it in the toilet, and restart. Type nice and fresh, proofread it, and then hit send. Because I don't know what the heck you just asked me. <laughs> I have no idea. Sorry. That was a catastrophe. I always forget that there are snowstorms in other parts of the country this time of year. Yes. Uh, what's up, Caps? This is Chris. I think you're thinking of soil sample machine in the shop. Oh, are you trying to figure out how to see all the levels of your field with precision farming? Yes, there's two ways to do it. You buy the soil sample machine and you have to move on all kinds of different spots of the field to sample the soil if you wanna do it the realistic way. Or you can just go into the stinking menu and if it's a field you own, you just go to precision farming like I have, like this one here, I don't, it, it'd have to be one I own. But you literally click on it, and you click Purchase Soil Information, which I've already purchased mine. That's the easy way to do it. But yeah, the manual way would be go in there and 
by the uh, sensor thing that takes the samples. Pain in the butt. I don't like it. it takes too long. hundred and seven viewers in here tonight I don't know if you have yet if you haven't just hit that like button I, I promise you it might sting your finger a little bit you might get a little stinging sensation but it's not pain it's just excitement of uh, knowing that you're subscribed to the channel from now on so anytime I go live uh, you can sit, just hit that little bell did you know you can subscribe and you don't have to be notified. You can just subscribe to show some love. But if you want to take it a step further, you hit that little bell, and then it'll literally tell you. It'll say, hey, Frosty went live. And if you want a more in-depth uh, schedule for what I do, just type in the chat, exclamation mark, schedule. Exclamation mark, schedule. And that'll give you uh, a listing of where when you can normally find me. And I'm on the east coast of the United States of America. Eastern time zone. Alright, sitting at about 53%. I'm excited to get this contract done. I'm not doing any more contracts on this map. We're sticking to our own, our own land and just enjoying the small scale farm. That's what I wanted it to be. I took one too many contracts than I should have. Just a little, little too much. We'll hurry up and get this knocked out. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. Contract on 108 is finished. The contract is done. Well, I'll be stinking darn. So technically, we could stop, but I'm going to get a lot of extra money, so... It gives you a little extra crop income, so we will harvest the whole thing. And get that extra boola! And then I can collect all three contracts once we deliver what's in the trailer back there. How's the point totals going for you guys? Points that means nothing at all, huh? <laughs> uh, silly, silly points. What you laughing at? patches. Must have been a good amount of weeds in the field because it doesn't seem to be that great of a yield. Getting the frosty drone. There we go. Final patches coming up right here.
right about not there. <laughs> little patchies. Actually, three. There's one right here. All right, we are El Dano. No way this is fitting into the uh, trailer there. The trailer's almost full. Dang it. Whatever doesn't fit, I'll just have the harvester follow me into town. Yeah, that's a good idea, eh? We don't need the header. So we'll have the harvester follow us. we don't have a track. Scoot up a little bit. It's got to be able to identify the track that was taken. There we go. Now we're good to go. Gonna bring it on back to the uh, cell point down the road there. Harvester will follow. Do you have to subscribe every time you start watching a stream? No, don't do that. Don't do that, Elizabeth. You only got to do it once. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely get you all messed up. Yep, just, uh, you just subscribe once. Yep. And the harvester is way back there. I don't know if he's following me or not. What the heck's he doing back there? Give him a minute to catch up. Waiting. <laughs> Must be going like eight mile an hour. We'll, we'll get them. We'll bring them here if we need to. We got to get this thing delivered. It left the header. Yeah, I didn't want to bring the header. Because it's rental stuff. We're just turning it in. That was the final contract. Right. Uh, dump inside here. And we should get some extra money out of this. Contract. 93% finished. Contract finished. 80. All right, see, it's completing all three contracts right now. And we just made 271 bucks, which means everything that's in that harvester is ours, money-wise. Park that there. And here comes Grandpa coming around the bend. It's nice and slow. He would have he would've eventually made it there. Saved me a trip. Whatever goes in there, we get. About 5,000 liters, not bad. Elizabeth Sturdy, thank you for the $4 super chat. Four pounds, my bad, my bad, four pounds. Way over from the other side of the pond, that's Elizabeth Sturdy. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank you for watching, too. 
All uh, right, I'm off, Frosty. Good night, and good night. Catch you tomorrow. All right, Keith Griffin. Good night, laddie. Good night. All right, we're all done with that contract. We are gonna not worry about that because it's all gonna get turned into the owner. But first, before we collect our contract money, we gotta sell what's left in here. 4,800 liters going into our bank account. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Mm, $10,000 on extra harvest income and stuff. All right, so we should be able to go in to contracts and all those are completed. So we're gonna get 5624 on one of them, 2851 and 4217, 456, 9, 10, 11, 12. So about 13 grand extra for all those. Yeah, that brings us up to $32,000. We needed that. I don't know about you, man. We need that. It just seems like it keeps getting darker on us. Right, let's go get whatever's in the harvester. We're back here at our main farm. And looks like we just finished our soybean. <clears throat> we are going to make sure we harvest every little patch here. No patch left unharvested. is hiding down here too. What's up Tanner Adams? Doing good sir. Just bringing in some soybean. Just got done making some money. We were uh, down to about eight grand. We were under eight grand. We had like 7,000 something. Now we're back up to about 32,000 after doing a few contracts. Bad harvest. You're doing good, Tanner? Good, good, good. It's beautiful, isn't it, Austin? Hey, Frosty, how did you fix the tree flickering when you had that issue as mine just start? I haven't fixed it. Some some maps, it just does it. Fall and winter, the textures are just horrible on this game. Um, sometimes it helps to go into your documents for farm sim and delete your shader files and your Jimcache, J-I-M-C-A-C-H-E. Those two folders delete whatever's in them. But even after that, it, it didn't really do a whole lot for me. So yeah, I've just come to the uh, conclusion that the fall and winter months just cause a lot of flickering, which is nasty. I don't like it. Of the old squeaking of the pipe there. Yeah, but polka only gets played on this map. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe play a little polka in a little bit. It's just it's a, such a small little channel. There's only a few songs, and before you know it, they're all they're all done. There's not enough polka fans out there. Still some in the harvester, I think. We got a full load, 4,000 liters. So we'll 
get this put into the silo. <clears throat> you got an update? left in there. I need to plant something in that field right there. It's not sure what. Not sure what I want to put in there. Mine just updated. I was hoping they would have bought, uh, brought in winter contracts, but no. Nope. Uh-oh. All right, so not much. Another 420 liters, but hey, the more the merrier. That thrown in the silo as well. That's it for the soybean harvest. Any ideas what we should plant in that little field? I don't know what to put in there. I was thinking sugar beets. Actually. A little bit of sugar beets would be nice, eh? Harvester put away. He worked hard enough for one day. I don't think I have anything left to harvest except the potatoes. Yeah. We are all caught up on our fields except for the potatoes. Sugar beets would be great. You think that's what I was thinking? A bit of sugar beets. Got some eggs producing over here from all the chickens. Ooh, I think the chickens could use a little bit of food. Keep this thing looking nice, man. This thing's an antique. What's up, Zach Ryan? I feel like you need to get it, and we can do a survival series. What do I need to get? Here we go, Caps. You don't even play Farm Sim. Oh, you mean uh, Deep Creek. I think he should get it so you guys can do a survival series together. Yeah, there you go. I like to park it right next to the chicken coop. It just looks nice sitting outside in the sun. planter ready. I think we will put some sugar beet in that little field. I went ahead and bought this little dutes. The old dutes. Isn't it nice? And then we're gonna fill up our little planter with some seeds. This should be ready to go. Yep. Alright. That's ready to rock and roll. Seeds are filled. The lid's back on. Bada bang, bada boom. And get our, our little bit of tractor get to work here. Yeah. Old school dudes tractor. Are you going to have bees on this farm? Eh. Eh. I 
don't know. I oh, don't know yet. Look at how this is offset. It's almost like it's further to the left than the right. Different. There is no unfold button. Interesting. Alright, so sugar beets are going to go into this bad boy. We do not have much nitrogen in this field. Maybe we should put down some manure first. I don't know if I have enough manure, though. That's all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll harvest it, or uh, we'll fertilize it after we plant. All right, so lower. And activate. Ooh, that thing's putting a hammer down. Seems a little fast for planting, but hey, we'll take it. All right, so sugar beets are going in. <laughs> this is going to be interesting when we uh, harvest this. little corner through here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. There we go. Lovely. I would just need to make sure it's actually putting the uh, sugar beet in. Yeah, sugar beet growing, stage one of seven. Nitrogen's horrible, so we'll have to get fertilizer in after we uh, get it all planted. So tiny in here, plus it's fenced in, makes it even more difficult. Oh yes, in your pillbox labeled for each day in your walker with tennis balls on the bottom. You talking to me? Oh, you're talking to, okay, I was gonna say. You must be talking to uh, Deep Creek. You ain't talking to me. I do have a pillbox, though. I take lots of vitamins and fish oil, all that good stuff. <laughs> so I, I, I'm guilty. I have the pillbox. I think it's like a once you get over the age of 35, everybody has a pillbox for uh, all, all the vitamins they need as you get older. You don't think about vitamins when you're a kid. Like, I ain't got no time for vitamins. Once you get older, you do. You're like, you know what? That might make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> yep, some small scale farming right here. Who likes the old Dutes tractor, huh? Got any Dutes fans in the chat? Bet you barely anybody will raise their hand for that one. Got too many Americans in here. Now, Frosty, I'm only 24 and I take three vitamins a day. Very good. See, you're a good boy. You're a good boy taking care of yourself. Thank you, David. Have a good night, brother. Appreciate you, as always, stopping, stopping in and hanging out for a while. It's 
weird how it's like wider on the driver's side. Look at that. It hangs a little further off on the left of the driver's side. Cover the whole swipe? Almost. There we go. Job completed. We've got our sugar beets in there. Uh, now we can uh, see if there's any manure to throw down. And then this over to the left is pretty much a seed bed. It's ready to go. It's been cultivated. It's just sitting there ready to plant something on it. I don't know what I'm going to plant. Just, I just stank stinking now. Maybe some oats. Yeah, oats. We won't be able to put oats with this planter. Yeah, we'll have to switch, uh, we'll have to switch to the cedar for that. But yes, very nice. Worked out lovely. I take no no vitamins, Tony. Uh, yo, I'm back. You're back. Guess who's back? That Wilder's back. All right, we'll top this off so it's ready for next time. Ooh, it does have a reverse light. I'm not sure if it did or not. Lower. And refilled. I, yeah, I don't know if that's enough turds to uh, cover that field. I doubt it. I doubt that's going to work. But, uh, we'll figure something out. Fertilizers, fertilize. This is my lime spreader. We don't really have a sprayer. So, as far as fertilizer goes, I, I need something. Uh, maybe we got that $32,000 now. Let's purchase the John Deere sprayer, which will look very nice with our new John Deere tractor. That'll be under sprayers. And this little guy right here, he's only 5,800 bucks. He's a nice little, nice little sprayer. There we go. That will work lovely. Put some uh, continental tires on there. Track width will go to, good to me. Seven grand. Chase. We'll uh, leave the regular tires on there. Silly. All right. Here we go. 58.50. Nice. Go get our new tractor. Watch YouTube videos on how to do it, says Adam. Yeah, do what Adam said. What's up, Adam? Uh, Wisconsin Farmer says, hi, Frost in chat. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good, Wisconsin. Got my new tractor. Look at my new tractor, dude. Look at that, Mike. Mm. EY Modding just released it today. Isn't that thing nice? It's a fancy. It's going to look good with the sprayer, too. meant to be match made in heaven John Deere combo right dark we actually got bags of liquid fertilizer bags that stuff's not cheap ah, 
Let's see here. I think that's liquid fertilizer. Maybe I'm wrong. No, that's solid fertilizer. Of course. Uh, I need a pallet of liquid fertilizer. Son of a gun. So let's go buy one real quick. Uh, liquid, $3,200. Nice! I bought a bag of this stuff. Look at this. 6,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. You can buy a bag of it. But that's too much money. So we're just going to buy... Actually... Yeah, it breaks down to the same price. But we're only going to get one of these. So I need to remember... I have solid fertilizer in here for my... Uh, my little lime spreader can handle that. Is that a lid? Unfold no. Alright, fill them up, buttercup. I don't have enough manure yet to use my own fertilizer. I gotta wait till a little more time goes by. Alright, so she's all topped off. We'll go get nitrogen put into that little field we just planted beets on. Sounds like mall music. What, my music? Yeah, they haven't produced enough, Brian, to uh, use it, unfortunately. And I need to roll the field. Maybe. I don't even know if I bought a roller. I think we did. <laughs> All right, sprayer. Kind of hard to see, but it is spraying. A darn fence in the way. Nice thing about this tractor, though, you can whip a nae, nae real fast. Those uh, little narrow duels on the front. Still get stuck on the fence, but we'll master it one day. There we go. Blend it. That's literally only going to take like three swipes. Yep. Cover this chunk right here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Got a little bit at the front end we didn't hit. And that's it. Easy peasy. That only used 4% of our fertilizer. <laughs> that field is ready to rock and roll. So if we go stand on it now, uh, we got perfect uh, pH. We got perfect nitrogen. It is calling for uh, being rolled, which I, I got to see if we still have a roller. Uh, EY Modding un, un released a roller today, too. So if we have the money, maybe we'll buy that roller. Because he made it specifically for uh, all his tractors to be able to pull them. It's, it doesn't require much horsepower. Starting to get a collection of junk here. I gotta find places to park it all. I don't know if this will fit back in there. Can you fit in there? Uh. Come on. Ow, oh, look at that. 
Maybe if we unfold it a little bit. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. Yep. Dang it. All right, so that's not going to fit in there. So we'll have to leave this outside. I tried. It's got too cluttered out here. I got a buddy that has a barbecue business, Chunky Joker's Barbecue. He is around Dallas. How'd you get the weeds out of that field? You plowed it and they didn't come out. I might have missed the replay. Uh, we mulched it. So we plowed it and then mulched the bigger weeds that the plow couldn't take out. And then we cultivated, put down lime, and then we just planted and fertilized. Big list of things we had to do. Alright, drop that there. I already have a roller. Just go ahead and use the one we have. I don't think it requires a whole lot of horsepower. It looks heavy though, huh? Looks pretty heavy right there. Should be all right. starting to look like Sanford and Son's Junkyard. It's getting a little messy, Princess. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe that's how some of the Polish farms are. I don't know. There, there's not a ton of storage for my equipment. I also have a feeling they don't roll their fields. A lot of farmers don't roll their fields. This thing unfolded. T -t 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 today, Sonny. May 6th next year. It was Saturday, May 7th. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, your chunky barbecue or something? <laughs> oh, the Kentucky Derby. You guys are talking to each other. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, lowered. And ready to roll. John Deere's having zero issues pulling the roller. If I'm going to catch every edge, that's fine. I don't care because we do have a fence to contend with. I'm just trying to get as much as I can here. See? There we go. Yeah, she looks nice. found a new favorite tractor here. This tractor's sweet. I love it. It's getting rid of the uh, the mulch texture too. Like damn. Right. Beautiful. Got one little patch along the edge of the fence. Other than that, looking pretty good, huh? Yep, right there. That'll do it for me. Very nice. Nice roller. So that got rid of that. It does say weeds are growing. Uh, oh well. We do have a weeder. We'll just have to wait till the first growth stage and then we'll weed them out with the attachment. But other than that, perfect. This field's got sugar beets growing in it. <laughs> Very nice. I'm 
this one needs rolled too. Now that I, now that I think about it. Yeah, let me double check. Ah, uh, actually, it doesn't need rolled yet. But we'll forget about that. Keeping up with your own, keeping up with your guys' conversation with each other. <laughs> Chat's a little quiet tonight. All right, we'll drop that right there. That'll be it for that. All right, I guess uh, chickens. I did want to give the chickens a little bit of food, so we'll uh, top them off real quick. I'll have to get some stuff out of the silo. little baby trailer here. Come on. All right, we do have our nice little uh, silo system over here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Never mind. we're not using the tractor. Got my little wheelbarrow. See that? We can fill up right up there. There is a thing you gotta click on this map to bring the pipe out of that little grain bin there. So we can load up on some of our barley. Isn't that nice? Kind of looks like gravel in there. But that's, uh, that's barley. Go feed the chickens. Up there. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? What's up, rabbit, Rob? How's rabbit doing? Rabbit. We both have we both have something the same on this map. I haven't showed the chat yet, but it's sitting in the garage. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get it out and take a little joyride. But yeah, it go, it goes very well with this map. All right, we'll just keep doing it till it says they're full. Most of our barley harvest in that uh, up in the attic there of that little barn. Ball game's over. I'm chatty. No. Yes, you are. You're chatty. Happy taco to you. I didn't have tacos though. I had Wendy's. Yeah, taco or Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesdays. This action cannot be performed. Yeah. All right. So that means they are topped off. Throw this back in here for now. Uh, maybe we'll have to leave it outside. <laughs> Didn't seem to want to be dropped in there. All right, so this little thing here, you just click on this, I think. And then it goes away. And then if you want to deliver stuff, you go over here, click this. And it puts out the uh, pipe out of the attic to unload your grain to store. Pretty cool. We're going to close everything up right now. Because we don't have anything to put in there. So yeah, that filled up the chickens. They're all good now. Guess we can work on the potatoes a little more, huh? Get the potatoes finished. I have nothing. I hope we get snow because I want to ride the Razor. Oh, I just left my tractor sitting back there. A trailer. Yep. 
I like how the uh, little Vistula harvester leaves little uh, spray lines there when it's harvesting. Makes it look nice. Very attractive. Quite like it. Are we going to be able to finish this stinking uh, potato field tonight? What do you think? <laughs> it's taking a while, isn't it? Come back to it like multiple times. And it's still there. What's up, Chase Church? How you doing this evening? Thanks for tuning in there, sir. See ya, Anthony. Thanks for uh, hanging out, buddy. It's work staying awake at his age, his watchdog. <laughs> Point zero 0.09 work width. Ay caramba. Wait till you see how we harvest those beets in the future. Talk about a slow process. Yeah. Chase Weedle, hello. Have a great stream going to bed. All right, Jeremy, peace out, brother. Everybody's, everybody's going to bed on me. Love the way this thing unloads. I'm a dime. Right, we're going to try to do some first person harvesting here. Crop destruction's on, so I, I have to be careful the, the back wheels don't go into the crop, or it's not going to be pretty. Yeah, we won't do first person. Too rough. Seems like we're not doing anything, does it? It's like it looks the same as last three swipes. It would be nice if it kicked out a little more. It does not kick out far enough. Like even if it was just like one more meter kicking out, you wouldn't be running over your crop as much. Because I'm I'm ruining a lot of the crop by running it over. Fortunately. Dang it, Bobby. You need like a. Ooh, you know what would be good is one of the uh, grape tractors, the ones that are skinny, like they're just very tiny. That would be a good type of tractor to pull this with because it would leave more room for air so you're not running crops over. Might have to trade in a tractor or two for one of those bad boys. Yeah, looks 
about the same. <clears throat> Has anybody watched uh, The Last of Us on HBO Max? I don't have HBO Max. I'm just curious. Is it good? Has anybody watched that new series? It's based off the video game The Last of Us. Looks awesome. And the main guy, is that the guy who's in the S, uh, Pob P Pablo Escobar, the series, what the heck was that show called? Is, he, is, he, is it that guy? In the Pablo show, he has the mustache. In this one, he's got like a full beard, but man, it looks just like that guy. He was one of the agents, the federal agents or something, trying to track down Pablo You like it, Richard Thomas? It is that guy? Yeah, I thought so. He looks a little different with the beard, but I was like, man, that looks like that guy. He's a good actor. I like him. Whatever his name is, he's good. He was he was awesome in uh, that uh, Escobar show, whatever the heck that was called. It was a good one. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, Tony. That's the only reason I'd want it, is to watch that series and then cancel HBO. <laughs> I just want to watch that series. Uh, watched the first episode. I thought it was good, says Philip. So a few people watched it, huh? Now that I know that's the guy that's in it, I'll probably have to watch it, because he's, he's a good actor. My goal is to finish this darn field tonight. I really want to get it done. But I don't think we're going to get it done because we are going to have to do another delivery. I don't, I don't really want to sell them either. I'm thinking we might dump them on the ground somewhere and use them to feed the pigs. Maybe I'll dump them over at the pig sty, just right in the yard. Because the pigs will eat these up, you know what I'm saying? Free food, for, well not free food. Well yeah, free food for the pigs. It's on my list to watch, I enjoyed the video game. Did you play the game? I played most of the first one never touched the second one but the first one I got so far and then I just kind of got bored of killing the, the zombies or whatever they are I got kind of tired of it but even the game at the beginning it was good the story was good I hear the second one's pretty good but I just want to watch the show I have a great show I watch. It's called Big... Oh, stop it, do in you suck up. Getting all fancy. do in Silly. do in bike. Man, that should fill the trailer. thing cool off a little bit. All right. Cool off, little engine. Cool off. You've been working hard. All right. We're going to go dump these over at the pigsty. I don't want to, I don't want to sell food that can be fed to our pigs, you know? We sold one load and it didn't really pay good, so I say we keep it. Yep. 
There's the neighbor. Neighbor man. Longest 14 days, says Amber. Meandy Frosty, guess you finally got her name back. You got your name back. I already forget what the heck it was. It was something weird. <laughs> nice to see your normal name back. Yeah. Ah, I wish we could store this, dang it. I want to be able to store the potatoes. You would think with it being a pig pen, it would let you. I already tried that earlier, and it did not let us store these here. Yeah. That's weird, huh? I think it would let us do that. Come on, man. Now traffic's gonna get me all jacked up. I could dump them in the uh, front yard of my house. What do you think? I guess we'll... I don't know. We'll just dump them right here. Whatever. I don't want to dump them there. There's got to be, gotta be a better way. Any ideas? Time to put a multi-fruit silo in. Kevin Flores with the $10 super chat says, Frosty, is this the same field you started with four hours ago? The potato one? Yes. Two hours and 44 minutes ago, yes. Could you destroy a plate of your grandma's biscuits and gravy? Yes. I love her biscuits and gravy. The chat needs the recipe. I don't even know the recipe. It's one of those things uh, I don't think any of us will ever know. I uh, got a silo from the mod hub. Yeah, yeah. I've Yeah, I've, I've got those too. But uh Yeah, I'm fine putting them on the ground. I just it'd be nice to put them in a shelter or something. Uh I don't know. Surprised it won't let me. I bet you it will let us. We just got to get close enough, and I can't back this stinking trailer up. Because it's, you know, one of those trailers that's hard to back up. Let's see here. here we're going to get this figured out. Because <laughs> with it being a pigsty, you would think that it will accept potatoes. They ate four potatoes. <laughs> yeah, these are a pain in the butt to back up. My goodness. Like, what the heck is that? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Just stink now. You know what? Maybe we'll just hold on to these for a while, because I, I have to figure something out. We have a little bit of money. We could put a little uh, drive-through dump, I guess, somewhere. Let's see here. Construction sheds. Whew, that's way too big. That's huge. I don't have many shed mods uh, put in. That. Eh, I don't want that either. Dang it! Yep. Just dumping it on the ground, I guess. I wish I would have put it in that little trailer instead of this. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. 
we're gonna hold on to these ones. I might end up selling these ones. Um, I just wanna make, I wanna see if that, that little silo will take potatoes. I feel like it will. We just gotta get close enough to the trigger point. You know what I mean? So let's see what happens when we fill this little trailer. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just be real mad. I'll be very upset. This is our this is our final test on the potatoes. Hopefully it works. Come on. This trailer might not even accept the potatoes. Oh, there it goes. Come on, baby. How you want to? There we go. All right, this is a test. Testing, one, two, three. We are testing to see if the potatoes can be put into the pigsty silo. Thank you for tuning in. Whoa, got that guy off. Nah, I feel like this is gonna work. Drop it right in here. Here we go, we're backing up to the trigger point with potatoes. And it does not work. Beautiful, all right, so it doesn't work. That's great. But you know what, this trailer's gonna work out a lot better because I can dump them inside so at least they're covered by a rooftop. So that's good. If it lets me in here, my goodness. Ugh. Get all this crap out of the way. I like this little tractor. He can be parked right under here. Good enough for me. What is it, control I? This action cannot be performed here. Well, you better do it. I want to dump my stinking potatoes there. What do you mean you can't do that? Get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, come on. Old tipper. Why would it not let me unload here? I mean, yeah, silly. I mean, that is the perfect place to dump, inside. Why would it say I can't dump inside? Well, that's frustrating. That really is frustrating. I mean, that's where you'd want to put it. Oh, well. Whatever. It's the battle of the potatoes tonight. You know what? We'll shh. Ugh. I'll have to shove them somewhere. <clears throat> All right. Right here. Right on the stinking ground. Should have done that a long time ago. Dump that crap. Ace. <laughs> All that for that. Wouldn't that be cool though? That would have been a nice place to put it. So we can dump the other load right there on the ground. I 
Uh, Amber Walker, thank you for the dollar. 49. Snow cone. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I tell you good night in 30 minutes. Yep. All right. Let's go dump the other load real quick. I'd hire a worker, but it w a hired worker does not work with that uh, that uh, setup we got back there. <laughs> so that is not an option. All right, we got about another 4,000 liters here. We'll go offload these. That'll give us something to feed the pigs. This thing does not like sharp turns either. Ugh. our pile of potatoes. <clears throat> there we go. Beautiful. You getting that? You really leaving, Duan? You keep people keep saying you're gone, but you're here. I'm um, good. Just finished racing. Now, oh, are you, you on the farm, Steerman? I think Bradley said there's 450k sitting there, ready for me to spend. Oh, that a nice. pieces back together here. All right, we're getting this done. Once we get this harvest done, I'll be done, chat. Which might be a while. It doesn't look like a whole lot of be uh, potatoes, but it's been taking quite a while. So easy does it. Just keep bringing them in little by little. And the piggies will have a nice supply of food sitting in the yard, like literally sitting in the yard, in the grass. Hopefully the Polish, the Polish rats don't eat it. What a job. Yeah. I was thinking maybe Ohio Richlands tomorrow. I'll probably make a community post. But I'm getting the itch to get back on there. That'll be episode number eight. That's one of the longest going series we have right now except for the survival one but for a live stream map uh, that's that's been going on for a while we'll burn that bridge when we get there I've been playing Silver Run without cheering, and I'm always broke. Without cheering. Eh? The Dublin Games. Hello! Speaking of Dublin, uh, Bally Spring. But this was uh, kind of a small scale farm tonight, so I don't want to do back to back small equipment. Maybe we'll take maybe we'll take a break on Bally. It's only Monday. Today's Monday, right? 
Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, we still got three days left in the week for uh, farms. So I'm thinking Ohio, Richlands, possibly tomorrow. And then, yeah, maybe we'll throw Bally Spring in there. And then I've got many other ones we can choose from, too. <laughs> without cheating. Nice, without cheating. Yeah, I've kind of gotten away from the uh, the money cheats for my... my uh, well, all the farms we've been using, unless I had previously cheated on it, but I haven't been cheating anymore. It's just more more fun, more rewarding to uh, play the game as it's meant to be played. Kind of earn your keep, if you know what I'm saying. You love the Ohio one? Me too, uh, Ice Dragon. Me too. It's starting to finally get going. Um, almost got the corn. Well, we got that corn planted. So hopefully I can almost get to the point where we can harvest that corn and get it into the, the fish farm production that we have on Ohio. Good old fish farm production. Uh, I can't speak your language, Ivan, but if you're able to translate that into English... Yeah, I, I only speak English. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Ooh, it's starting to look like we're almost finished. Look at that. We actually have done something. It just took a while to s notice that we've been doing something, huh? Looking good. Vintage, antique farming right here. <clears throat> Was playing that map last night for five hours, were you? You could have been playing with us for five hours, you jackwhacker. Chase. He's busy on Ohio while we're all farming on Carolina map. Jack Whacker. You from Canada, Ice Dragon? We were wondering because we've been putting different flags in everybody's front yard on the, the server map, the Carolina map. And we're like, we think Ice Dragon's from Canada, but I don't, I can't remember. I don't think you are, but maybe you are. I thought you lived in the States, but. I could be wrong. He said you need to straighten up. You're going zigzag. Oh, on the translation. Oh, yeah. Well, this field wasn't straight to begin with. <laughs> look at it. It's like already at an angle. That does look kind of ziggity zaggity. Oh, look at that. We are so close to having it finished. to the frosty cam. Frosty drone, I mean. Can't talk. I'm getting tired. Ninety-eight percent. Dang it, Bobby. Sunflowers are pretty over there, huh? You are so close. Few little swipes to go. Come on, 
baby. I'm trying not to run them all. I'm trying not to run over my darn crop. Be nice if it gave you a statistic on how much you ran over. <laughs> It'd be bad. I, I ran over a lot of it, sadly. So close. Pick it up, mine. Pick it up. Every potato counts. Except that one, I just ran it over too. An horse. Sometimes it almost does two rows at once. Get it just right. All right, here it is. The final swipe of potatoes. We did it! We really did it, Bobby. Ooh, that took a while. We, we didn't do that all night long, Chad. I swear we didn't do that the whole night. We were doing other things. But that did take a long time with uh, coming back and forth to it. <laughs> yes, it did. But it was fun doing, doing it in a different style. Everybody uses those big monster harvesters. It's nice to use some old school equipment. And it's kind of relax and enjoy. The, uh, you know, just enjoy it. There you go. It's done. Get out of here, Natron. Have a good one. You like the IMT? It is a nice IMT. I like it. Sounds good, too. And it's got the uh, IC stuff, so you can... Rip it apart if you want. See? Not sure what that just did. Oh, that's if it had a closed cab. If it had like a cabin, you could open the doors. Closed. Yeah, nice little tractor. We got a lot done, actually. For small-scale farming, we did a lot. <clears throat> we got that field to the left cultivated tonight. We got that field planted and fertilized with sugar beet. We got our soybean harvested. We got our potatoes harvested. We watered our little greenhouse. We fed the chickens. We fed the peg pigs. Uh, we gave the cows some grass bales. Straw bedding is good for both animals. So, uh, yeah. Getting her done. Slowly but steadily. Is this going to fit back where I got it? Because the sprayer's new. We kind of put that close to the same spot. Looks like we got it in there. Good enough, huh? Try not to hit the planter. That'll work. Beautiful. Just sprayed off and put away. Bouncy rod. <clears throat> Guess what? Buttercup. 
Did I guess it? It is a symbol of the former owner of Yugoslavia. Is it? Is that what IMT is? Is that what you mean? IMT is a s or all oh, the sim. Wait a minute. I don't think the chat can really see that. One second. Let's get into the sunlight. Talking about that symbol right here. Or the tractor itself is like a symbol. Nice little tractor, though. Too quiet when you're sitting in the seat, though. It takes the beautiful sound away. Ain't like that. <sighs> Ivan, that's interesting. I lived in eastern Italy in 92, 93, and I remember seeing bombs blow across the Adriatic Sea. I was so young, I didn't really understand what was going on. Now I talk about tractor, the tractor, the IMT. <clears throat> Guess who? Jasmine, I know, Jasmine. I know. You were here earlier. I know. <laughs> uh, let me see. How I knew it was Croatian. 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 Is that how you pronounce it? Croatian. I always want to say Croatian when I when I read it, but it's Croatian, I think. All right, this is the final load of potatoes. We're gonna get these dumped into the pile. go around this way this time. I always get stuck trying to go through the one fence. There's all the potatoes. Well, not all of them. We sold one trailer full. We sold 4,000 liters. Right, let's try to just live unload these right here. Boom. Boom shakalaka. A little disappointed it wouldn't let me unload the potatoes in here. That would have been perfect. A nice indoor enclosure. The storm, but it wouldn't let me. It said you cannot do this in here. So... Had to dump them outside. Might be changing this trailer out at some point. As much as I like the way it looks, I don't like that the uh, pup setup. I just want a normal trailer for this map because we do have to get in and back up a lot. So that trailer might, you know what? Let's sell it right now. I can already tell I don't want to have it anymore. So sell it. Maybe we can buy a decent, better one. Uh, that was worth 14 grand. Let that cool off as well. All right, Let's see if we can buy an affordable trailer. Nothing for sale. I got a crap load of trailers to choose from. So just something small that'll get the job done. That's one axle that I can back up. <clears throat> There's this for 3,000. I don't like the way the axle's back here. I want... Uh, 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 yuck. All right, let's see what else we got. Got the old car trailer. We already own one of those. 
Uh, there's a one axle trailer that holds 1.7. That's looking not too shabby. Kind of like that. Uh huh, uh huh. That doesn't hold quite as much as the one we just sold, though. The other one's held 4,000. So that would, yeah, that'd be a big downgrade. <sighs> that holds 3,000. Eh. Eh, I don't like that. That's yeah, a nice little trailer. 5,000. The elevator. That looks a little too fancy, though, with all our other equipment. I don't know. Pretty cool, though. A little expensive. Uh, I can't express enough how valuable your content is in my life, says Ian Oppenheim. Ian, thank you for the sweet words, buddy. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I'm glad you enjoy the content. I enjoy you hanging out with us, buddy. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, back. Easier to back a trailer with the axle set back. Yes, that's true. That's true, Desert. You're right about that. Uh, good night, Tony. You out of here. Have a good one, brother. Thank you for the massive super chat. Thank you, sir. We'll catch you tomorrow, possibly. <clears throat> Uh, why are you reading my private conversations to everyone? Because that's part of being a streamer. I, I try to read what I can. I'm trying to be funny. You're you are hilarious, Jasmine. One of the funniest in the chat. You're, you're funny. All right, what do you think? Should I buy this one? A little pricey, but I think it'll be cool. And it has a cool dump. It dumps funny. We don't need any plates. Rim color. Go with a dirty gray. That's another thousand bucks. No thanks. Stick to white and free. Fifteen thousand four hundred ninety-five bucks. Ugh. I want it. There we go. So most of our earnings tonight went towards that trailer, <laughs> which which is fine. That's fine. You gotta make it to spend it, right? I think it'll look good with most of the tractors. It'll look good with the John Deere. The yellow will pop nice. Yeah, it looks good. It's a good looking trailer. Look at the way it dumps. It has a cool dump system on it, look at that. That is pretty cool. Nice detail. Got the hydraulic lines. Yeah, it's a nice little trailer. I think we had a, a nice purchase there. What do you think? Good investment. Uh, we got Bubba J Shrimp coming in the house. Jack Whacker level one for four months now. Says, so just hit four months, Frosty. Sorry I just got on here at what appears to be the end of the stream, but love the content. Well, thank you, Bubba J Shrimp. Thank you very much, sir, for the four months. Yeah, we're about done. We've been uh, live for about three hours, 16 minutes. And I'm a little extra. I'm a little tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. Well, I know why. I know why. This Frosty kept me kept me on my feet today. We went on like a five-mile walk, like a hike. That's probably partly why I'm a little fatigued. Did I get all this closed yet? What the heck's going on now? Yeah, it's a nice little trailer, I think. It'll be better than the other one. We can actually back this one up. I think I cleaned up all my messes. Did I clean up all my messes? I feel like there's something else out here. Yeah, there's this guy. That's this little guy. The old dates. Good night, Corey Hansen. 
Dustin Joss, uh, Johnson, nice setup for us. It's a nice little trailer, isn't it? Yeah. What's up, Vishal? Where you been? Haven't seen you in a while. You doing all right? Awesome mod trailer. That is a good one. That's on the mod hub, too. For anybody that wants to try that little trailer there. It's called the Elevator. On the mod hub. I think it came out maybe two weeks ago. You know what? Before we uh, wrap things up. I'm going to top off the cows. I want to empty that bale trailer. There's barely anything in it. Chickens are locking their food. Thanks, Daddy. Yep. Doesn't have to be perfect. So we already went through all the bales that we made on that grass field last week. I think it was Friday we streamed this map. Wasn't it Friday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Friday. So that one field we own, uh, they've this this will be it. they're gonna eat all of it. They've they've ate they've taken all of it. So it'll keep them going for a little while though. Does it take the bales right? Oh yeah, look at that. Takes it right out of the trailer. Right, no noise. Stuff. What? Yeah, they're, they're loaded up. That's all the grass I have to give them. That gives them 17,550 liters. Take a peek at the animal menu here before we head out. All right, so pigs, we topped them off with straw tonight and we topped them off with potatoes, which gave them 100%. So we gave them a little bit. Uh, puberty, they're only two months old. They're all babies. Uh, chickens topped off, they're looking good. Cows are a little past the 50%. Uh, but we're going to have to figure something out. I think next time the grass field will be ready and we'll be able to make more bales. Maybe we'll make hay bales next time because those are way more productive, 80%. But at the same time, they're babies. They're, they're, they're calves. They're only two months old. So grass is good enough. They are producing slurry, which is beautiful. So we got slurry and manure slowly piling up. Next time we'll have our own fertilizer, which is lovely. This should be filled up a little more. And then we have our little uh, manual loading machine. Over. This thing's so cool. I can't wait for this to fill up with crap. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Look at this thing. Look at that. Tell me that's not cool right there. <laughs> I can pick up my poop. All right, how do you pick it up? I want to figure out how to pick it up. Hey, where'd all my poop go? My poop disappeared. All right, how do we, how do we pick it up? Start filling. Oh, wait a minute. That's up and down. Ah. Uh, okay. So lower. I don't think there's enough in there to pick it up. Yeah, that's the problem. So once that's filled more, we'll be able to actually 
pick that up. Look at that. See? You pull the mouse together. There's just not enough crap in there. But that's going to be fun to manually do the crap. <laughs> I'm excited about that. I get excited about little things like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good night, piggies. Enjoy your potatoes. Still mad I couldn't dump my potatoes in here. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. We had to dump them all here in the stinking grass. That's not, that's not where you want to put your potatoes, out in the grass. But uh, here's the grass field we did last week. It's uh, only got another month to go and it'll be fully grown again. And it's perfect in nitrogen, so it's going to give us about 81% yield. Oh, that'll give us some nice bales to work with. What's up, Buck Wild? Uh, Dustin Johnson, stay safe. Mark does not sound good. Mark, Mark, Mark. Good night, Frosting Chat. Weather getting bad here. House starting to shake. Family getting scared. My goodness, yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully everything is all right. The house is shaking. Peace. Yeah, be careful out there. I hear a lot of uh, winter storms are coming through the area in lots of states. Be careful out there, chat. South Mississippi. Be careful. Uh, the Smith family... Take care of yourselves, all right? Stay stay out of uh, harm's way. Uh, let's see. Uh, Stevenson, thank you for the 4.49, the uh, pounds. As Mr. Isaiah Lewis says hello to Frosty in chat. But you might ignore this because it has Isaiah's name. I, I haven't seen Isaiah at all tonight. Where's his name at? I, li I literally have not seen his name once. Isaiah, say something. Say something. Say something, Isaiah. You got to say something right now. I need to hear your voice and know that you're all right. And did you find out anything? Did you find anything out from the doctor? Because he had a uh, important test. I'm not talking to you. I was talking to Isaiah. Jack Whacker. Yeah, I was going to say, I Steven, is he really in here? I don't see him. I usually catch his name because his lo I can see his uh, profile pretty easily, but I swear I haven't seen him. Maybe he was just in here real quick. But I am uh, curious how his appointment went. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of slurry in the pit. Oh my goodness, I didn't know we had that much. Jeez, 98%. We got a full tank of slurry pretty much for next time. Nice. I'm gonna leave that hooked up to that. Beautiful. So now there's nothing left in there, see? It actually fills up, it's pretty cool. You're right, Vishal, you're all right. Your comments are a little on the dumb side, you know, with all your... You're trying to be funny, but you know you're not. But we, we, we you know, some some might find it amusing. I don't. <laughs> uh, let's see. I haven't seen him either. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how he's doing. I hope, I hope he's all right. He had some testing being done. And uh, waiting to hear back on the answers for it. Well, that... It's gonna do it for me, chat. I'll watch the sun go down here in Poland. I hope everyone has a great evening. Thank you so much for hanging out. I think we're pretty close to the 200 reactions. If you haven't yet, hit that like button on the way out. Appreciate you being here. And uh, same to you, Mark. Uh, I hope you're all right, buddy. Hope you and the family are okay. Anybody else that's got those storms going through your area, I'll be thinking of you and hope hope the best. Hope hopefully nothing bad happens to yourself physically or your home. Uh, nothing's worse than home damages. So, yep. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for the support as always. And uh, we'll catch it tomorrow. Most likely going to be on Ohio Richlands. I got the itch for some Ohio. All right. All right. Desert Ox, uh, Vishal, and Chase, and Duan, and Mark. 
and Gary McGee, and the list goes on and on. Dustin, Nikki Vanson, Mickey Trimmer, everybody. Have a splendid evening. That's going to do it for me. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming. I'm over. And I'm out of here. Goodbye. See you later, chat. <laughs>